It was just eye-opening is when it does snow that everything shuts down. You might find that Asheville is not the right place for you after all. Yeah, that was a might... huge selling point for us coming from Chicago. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew that it wasn't going to be such a, it wasn't just going to be a fun uh, process. It was also. Hi, this is Elenica Regan with Nest and Dolls Realty powered by EXP Realty here in Asheville, North Carolina. Now my team and I were boots on the ground helping dozens of people relocate to the area. If you are thinking about relocating to the Asheville area or if you just want to figure out if this is the right area for you, you need to contact us. Our contact information is right here. We'll be happy to help you because we got your back when relocating. To Asheville, North Carolina. So almost two years ago, Matt and Michael decided to give Asheville a try. So today they are going to share with us their perspective of what it was like to move to the Asheville area and their perspective on what it's like to live here. So you don't have to take my word for it. Chicago is a big, big city. <laughs> Asheville is a small city, <laughs> a small, big town. How did you even put Asheville on your map? I think, um, we visited here several times before mm -hmm. um, moving here and we just really fell in love with it. We loved the, you know, the environment, uh, just everything about, about the city. And I think during COVID, we just decided, why not? Let's try something new. And then we were just looking for something that was a little like slower paced, obviously. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hustle and bustle in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, and like Michael said, during the pandemic, we were just trying to think about, um, you know, what we wanted out of life, where we wanted to be and where we wanted to go. So what you thought you wanted or what you wanted back then, now that you've been here for almost two years, did, does it match what you expected from Asheville and from the, you know, Asheville, I guess, lifestyle? I think mostly, I think there are some things different now as, you know, things are back to normal, um, but mostly from what we, you know, when we had visited, obviously being a tourist is very different than living here. You know, a lot of people know about Asheville, right? Asheville as a hub. And I'm sure you have the same idea, you know, Asheville, living in Asheville, but you, you don't quite live in Asheville now. Do you want to, can you share where you live without like sharing yeah. the address? <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually live about 15 minutes outside of downtown Asheville and Swannanoa, um, a, a very small town that's in between Asheville and Black Mountain mm -hmm. um, that we ended up, we ended up in and we really enjoy it. How did you end up in, in the, in this area? Why Swannanoa? I mean, most people wouldn't even know what Swannanoa <laughs> is, where it is, wh why? I think uh, Swannanoa chose us. <laughs> <laughs> um, really, uh, with the, the market and everything, when we came down here, we, as you know, put in offer after offer and just w weren't getting anywhere in mm -hmm. Asheville and just, you know, we kind of expand our search a little bit outside of Asheville and a house came up in Swannanoa and it was just everything we wanted, checked off all the boxes right. and close enough to downtown, but mm -hmm. it was nice. It was a little bit detached, which, uh, you know, helped us out from a saving money standpoint. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you don't regret no regrets? No. no. Love our neighbors, love the area. Great, yeah. great. I mean, it's a relatively easy commute to back to Asheville and quick, mm -hmm. especially for people from big city, 10, 15 minutes to, to get <laughs> somewhere. It's nothing. Well, yep. like nothing, right? What are some of the things that you already knew about Asheville or the area, what it's like to live here? And what are some of the things you did not know about? And they were kind of, uh, you know, anything from surprise to shock. I think the Biltmore. We knew the Biltmore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say just in general, we had a good idea of like what the climate was around mm -hmm. here. That was a huge selling point for us coming from Chicago mm -hmm. that we were not going to have to deal with the terrible winters anymore. Mm -hmm. um, we, we had a good idea of all the nature, you know, from us having visited. I'd say not a shock, but something that, it was just eye-opening is when it does snow that everything shuts down that <laughs> oh, you know right. what, especially for, yeah. for people right. from chicago that it's like <laughs> no one goes anywhere we were asking our neighbor like if he shovels his driveway last year if he shovels his driveway or um if you know they they use a service and he was like we just wait for it to melt we don't leave the house <laughs> until it melts and i was like okay well that's a, that's a huge adjustment so that was a, that was an interesting point that <laughs> is a, an adjustment i guess coming from the north at all to right. the south what if anything, um, you wish you knew about, you know, the, the process of relocating pretty much across country or half cross country 
and as as well as the this area what did you what do you wish you knew before you came here and you didn't you didn't couldn't find this information or you just it wasn't you know maybe maybe obvious i wish i knew that it wasn't going to be such a it wasn't just going to be a fun uh process it was also going to be tough you know tears of happiness tears of sadness you know losing offers on houses it was it was a process and i think i wish somebody would have told me that or somebody would have you know obviously we had a great realtor that walked us through everything but you know without that i mean it would have been really tough and it was it was a tough process just you know having a letdown after letdown right well, in those, the, the time when you were shopping for a house, it was a crazy time. A huge influx of people from other big cities. So a lot more buyers, not enough sellers. People were just trying to get a house. I remember how stressful it was for you to, and for everyone else, to lose a bid in war after bid in war after bid in war. I mean, how many was it? Five or six, I think? Yeah, I think I, I always tell people seven. So yeah, like, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll say somewhere around there. Right. <laughs> seven. Uh, it definitely changed now because the market shifted, but we still see multiple offer situations even now, even with shifted market and high interest rates. Um, compared to coming from Chicago or living in Chicago in that area, what are some of the pros and cons? living here yeah i'd say from a pros perspective obviously the nature um in chicago you have to drive quite a bit outside of the city mm -hmm. to get any sort of nature and it's just flat land and not there's no you know hiking or going into parks and stuff like mm -hmm. that um and that was a, a huge selling point a huge pro i think um another pro would be just definitely the people people are very nice here and coming from a big city it's, it's just a different <laughs> right uh perspective people are just you know waving to you every time you pass them on the street and mm -hmm. just very friendly and that's just a very nice feeling friendly. yeah yeah all of our neighbors like we talk with all of our neighbors in chicago i lived in an apartment complex for two years and i don't think i spoke to anyone <laughs> in the complex it was just no one really you know goes out of their way to introduce themselves mm -hmm. or um give off those friendly vibes mm -hmm. it seems like it's not uncommon when in big cities there's so many people Right, but you still feel lonely mm -hmm. and you still feel like by yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird, but yeah. Any tips, tricks, advice for somebody who are in the same position that you were two years ago, who are thinking about moving here specifically, doesn't matter from where, um, what would you advise them do? Maybe like more research, I don't know, book something uh, ahead of time. What is it? Adjust your expectations. <laughs> depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming from a large city, then I think you have to take a step back and think of like what you're looking for, what you desire. Mm -hmm. um, I know we we joke every once in a while, it's like there's not as many shopping opportunities. <laughs> like if you want like a lot of different name brand stores that you might be used to in the city, you have to drive to Charlotte mm -hmm. or, you know, go farther out. Right. Um, there's a lot of food op options here, but obviously not as many as a place like Chicago. So you just have to sort of keep those in con consideration when you're, when you're thinking about making the move. Mm-hmm. I think too, just do your research. That's a huge thing. Um, we did our research, but I think we could have done more. Uh, also, I think we did a great job of coming here and visiting first. I just recommend visit an area right. first before you move. Really get a lay of the land and do things that are, are not just tourist mm -hmm. things. Do things that you know locals do. Mm -hmm. Really explore, um, you know, outside of you know the hub mm -hmm. and outside of that, so you can you know really get a feel for what it will be like mm -hmm. if you do move mm -hmm. to that area. So when you come here to check it out, don't just wear your tourist hat. Put on, you know, um, a local hat as if you already live here and kind of, yeah, like what they said, um, check out the area that way. One of my previous videos, I'm going to put it up here. You can and put it in the description as well. Um, I talk about how to explore this area in a more efficient way. That way you're not zigzagging all over the place. Um, again, when you come to explore, not just Asheville, because Asheville is what, 96, 98,000 people, it's, it's small, but everything is spread out and there's a ton of little towns and uh, communities around Asheville that you might want to check out because Asheville does not have a lot of availability. You might find that Asheville is not the right place for you after all, and you might want to explore those other communities around just like they did. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so you, you probably want to check it out and you know build it into your schedule to 
to have time to explore the area a little better. When you moved, what were, can you share some of the logistics that might be helpful to others? Like, did you have a moving truck, moving company, or did you put everything in a pod? How did you do that? Well, originally when we came down, uh, we rented an Airbnb for a couple months so that we could get a lay of the land a little bit mm -hmm. more uh, so that we could look for houses mm -hmm. and make sure that we weren't making a quick, hasty decision. Right. And then also we put our stuff in storage in Chicago. So in case it wasn't where we really wanted to live or mm -hmm. we didn't find what we were looking for, we would still have a plan B. Mm -hmm. And I recommend that. Plan and B then when important. we did move here, we had a moving company. I don't recommend doing it yourself, especially when you get older, you're not, you know, in your early twenties anymore where you can be lugging around <laughs> sofas and beds. Uh, but also one thing logistically here when you move here is make sure you know where you're moving. We have a very steep driveway, you know, with the mountains and everything here. And that was a logistical nightmare when we had the moving company here. It uh, was, uh, took longer and costed us more money as well. So they have a view from their house and that view comes with a <laughs> steep ass driveway, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> but, so that can be a challenge for some of the, was the moving truck company local or? It was a from Chicago. Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Yeah. So that, if it was a local <laughs> company, they would be, probably wouldn't be too you know, worried or they would be at least familiar. Uh, but yeah, that um, I can imagine that was a shock for <laughs> Yes. Yeah, their truck was too big to get up the driveway, so they ended up blocking everything up the driveway. Oh, gosh, yeah. yes. So that was fun for them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for them, <laughs> right. So what is your perspective on our traffic? On the traffic that every local person or every native person complains all the time. What is your perspective? Traffic, good, bad, hmm, getting worse? It. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's occasional traffic, but it doesn't bother or phase us. Um, being in Chicago, and I'm originally from Boston, it, it's like you're in traffic for 10 minutes here, and then there I would be sitting in it for hours or, you know, in huge delays. So it, it's nothing too crazy. I mean, if you're going somewhere during rush hour, I feel like that's the biggest time mm -hmm. um, you see something and if there's construction mm -hmm. going on. But otherwise, nothing. Coming from a major city, it shouldn't be anything crazy for anyone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I drive to and from work every day. I There's no traffic. It's not bad. <laughs> Unless you're on Tunnel Road, you're fine. <laughs> Well, you also, you, you kind of avoid I-26. It seems like mm -hmm. people who have yeah. to deal with I-26 are more upset about it, but you, you don't have to drive on I-26. And, and next, what about weather? How different what was it from, or is it from Chicago? I think the winters are very different. Um, obviously, you know, here it's pretty mild all year round. Uh, in Chicago, you have snowstorms, you know, below zero mm -hmm. temperatures for, you know, several months mm -hmm. of the year. So I will say that that is, is much nicer. It never, I've never felt where it's been like uncomfortably cold here at all. And I know locals a lot of times do because it's cold for them. But for us, I mean, it's, it's nice all year round. Give yourself a few years, you'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be saying, I'm freezing. <laughs> what about summertime? A lot of people say um, that it's so humid and it's hot and humid and just unbearable. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> no, I, I feel like the this, this summertime in general, it doesn't get too, too hot. I mean, I guess July, it's, it's warm. Um, but honestly, there were times when I would look at the weather app and it would be hotter in Chicago. I mm -hmm. think the mountains sort of just cools it down right. a bit. And elevation helps too. Yeah. There's a couple of days of the year where it's been, you know, in the summer, mm -hmm. a little bit hot where you don't really want to be outside, but most of the year, you know, sitting out on our patio, it's, mm -hmm. it's bearable and, and enjoyable, mm -hmm. especially with that breeze from the mountains and everything. Yeah. You've been, um, a victim of our wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> I know some, uh, some other people talked about bears and, um, some other people, well, people who watch these videos uh, made a few comments about how, you know, they worry the, that we have a lot of dangerous wildlife, such as bears and snakes. Have you experienced, you know, were you a victim of? <laughs> <laughs> we have never uh, come in contact directly with bear. I mean, we've seen a lot from our house. We've seen them mm -hmm. walk down the, the street. We actually did, I'll, I'll let Michael tell the story, but we, um, we've, we've seen quite a few. I'll let you just jump in here. We yeah, I, I mean, I, I think the one part of it is, you know, of course, there's wildlife around, but, you know, you just educate yourself and be smart about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Don't be stupid and make sure you do your research on, you know, how to react around different animals. But as far as like other than bears and maybe a coyote we, and, and nothing close to us, you know, it's just mm -hmm. been in the distance. Uh, we did see, though, uh, one time we were driving 
on I think it was 40 mm -hmm. and we were driving and a, a, a bear and some cubs were walking across mm -hmm. the interstate and we were driving and there were cars all around me and I had to like slow down and thank God nobody hit us but the bear like ran into our car and oh we thought God. maybe it was hurt or anything but it, it wandered off so it was fine but uh, yeah, no dent or anything, but it was it was kind of scary to see them run across the right. interstate like that. <laughs> right. Well, I, I know deer can be, you know, as uh, bad as you might feel about hitting the deer, but they can be quite dangerous when you drive on the highway 60, 70 miles an mm -hmm, hour yeah. and the, it, that thing comes out out of nowhere. It can scare you, you know, and uh, of course uh, create a very dangerous condition on the road so yeah that, that would be i would i would definitely hit the brakes for the bear and the yeah <laughs> yeah we were <laughs> <laughs> that was that was quite a situation i guess the other thing too with the wildlife is the only like i, I a lot of our neighbors will put their trash out overnight i uh -huh. did that once and then the bear ate <laughs> yeah the and i was like we're never doing that again i'll yep. get up early in the morning and put it out yep. um so just sort of things like that uh, that's been the only impact of wildlife do you have any wildlife in Chicago that you that will at the zoo <laughs> I mean no uh like other than like small like like uh, rats squirrels. and squirrels and mm -hmm. raccoons rats. that's about it mm -hmm. <laughs> I like to think that Asheville has a great food scene well compare and I compare it not of course to Chicago or New York City and stuff places like that but other comparable same size cities towns i feel like we have a great selection of great local restaurants that are just amazing what is your perspective coming from a city i'd say that there is a lot of variety which is nice i mean we we are always trying new places mm -hmm. um i'd say in terms of certain cuisines like we haven't found a thai place that matches one of our thai places in chicago that we really like but other than that like <laughs> yeah. where we've we've in general, I found a lot of really good food options, mm -hmm. and there is a bunch of options, and there's always new things popping up, which I think right. is exciting as well, um, is that there's always new spots or new mm -hmm. joints that we can uh, try out. Yeah, and I think, again, to the point of, you know, being like a local, there are a lot of local spots that have really great food. Right. Um, don't go to the tourist spots, because even, you know, you look on Google and what are the best restaurants. A lot of those, to me, you know, they weren't the most amazing thing, but a lot of the local places oh, yeah. that we just happen to be walking past or hey let's try that have been fabulous and and pizza coming from chicago there are a lot of great pizza restaurants oh really here. yes I, was gonna, yeah. I thought you were gonna say this is <laughs> no i'm actually impressed with there we have yeah. found several pizza places we really liked all right name them um let's see what what are a couple that i mean there's athens and swananoa mm -hmm. that's a great pizza place and it's local too that's by the greek family correct yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. and then uh what are a couple other ones here in Asheville? That we, we like the standard yeah the standard, standard. is really mm -hmm. good pizza I'm trying to think of other ones we've had. Of course, recently. you're not going to find Chicago style. like deep. No. Yeah, it's going to be different. But uh, but he didn't even eat deep yeah. dish when we were in Chicago. <laughs> <Wait>. so. <laughs> Sometimes. Because, you know. <laughs> they'll say the deep dish is the touristy oh pizza. I used to love the deep dish in Chicago, but. Um, I'm trying to think of what, what another one. You like one. Not, your fa not Your Father's. Oh, that's Black another Mountain. great. Yeah, Black Mountain, oh, Not Your Father's Pizza. Hmm. Yeah, we do jump into Black Mountain a lot. We're well, yeah, it makes sense for yeah. you because you're right in between. You can right. you get the best of bo both worlds. You can go to Asheville yeah. or you can go to right, Black nice. Mountain. Yeah, it's great. There's Lots some really fabulous restaurants in Black Mountain. I, I definitely like recommend everybody to go that way because it's there. It's a cute little town mm -hmm. and great restaurants. Um, thoughts on downtown? cool interesting i think that again there are some cool spots go with caution like <laughs> oh no i think you know i think everything you know the news sensationalizes everything downtown i've never felt unsafe in downtown like i said the people are, are great down there mm -hmm. um very friendly mm -hmm. it's walkable which is awesome because it is a smaller city right. so it's walkable you can always find parking <laughs> yeah you could you can yeah. Yeah. Again, uh, you know, coming from <laughs> other natives, locals who've been here, it's, I think, even reading some of the comments on my videos here on my channel uh, from locals, you know, that, that, that's the biggest complaint. Like, they don't, people don't like to even go to downtown Asheville because uh, they feel unsafe. People tell me that they never take their kids to downtown because they don't feel safe. I guess I'm being a bad mother. <laughs> I guess they're all the time. <laughs> Um, and they cannot, they can never find parking. 
Again, it's all about perspective. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I, I, like, from Chicago, coming from Chicago, I mean, it doesn't feel any less safe than walking around in Chicago. <laughs> um, and that's how we got everywhere in Chicago, as you would rock, walk around. Um, and then in terms of parking, yeah, maybe, like, street parking isn't, isn't super easy, but there's a lot of garage options, mm-hmm. which we've... Um, and, and city-owned garage options, so they're not, right. not charging you $20 to park for right. but like a couple dollars here or there. Yeah. Um, so we've never really had an issue in terms of that. Cool. Yeah, I think if you're not, you know, if, if you are from here, maybe it is a little different, but if you've traveled to different cities or different places internationally, it's just like, you know, there's there's risks anywhere, you know, you go. Something can happen anywhere, but as long as you're just aware of your surroundings, right. it's, you know. Right. I think that's the key, being aware that things can happen and just don't be... Don't do silly things. Don't leave your car open. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> the biggest thing, just again, just to reiterate, like, do your research mm-hmm. because that's you know we have the internet in these days, and you use that to your advantage, just so you know, and and come here and visit and try everything, and maybe think you know you might have one idea in your head that oh you, you a picture where you want to live and how you want to live, but maybe you know be open to other mm-hmm. ideas because we weren't at first, and then we had to be. Right. And Almost we love it. To. I mean, our house, I, I don't think there's one house that we put an offer on that we wished we would have lived in. I think the house that we have is the house, mm-hmm. our house, our home. Remember that one by the cemetery? You could have lived <laughs> by the cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> and we've, ta- we've talked about every single one of them, you know, we've said, you know, there's been, there was a selection of houses that we, you know, looked at and there's not one, right? There's yeah. not one that we've saw that was like, oh, I wish we would have had mm-hmm. that one instead. Mm-hmm. Even the area, I mean, it was, we found our home. We found the perfect place. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you so much for sharing your story and your perspective. It's greatly appreciated. It was the story of Matt and Michael moving all the way from Chicago to Asheville, North Carolina. I hope you found this information useful, valuable. If you have other questions, put them in the comments below. If you want to know more about what it's like to live in the actual area, I'm going to put links to some of the other videos and playlists right here. Do not forget to subscribe, hit a little bell to get notified every time I make a new video. Reach out to me and my team if you need any kind of help relocating. Our contact information is right here and I will see you next time.